What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Trey. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I hope everybody's doing good out there. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Dre. I am a reptile enthusiast. And here on my channel, I do reptile education and anything reptile related. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you hit that like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Um, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about common boas and why I think they make such great pets. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody so welcome back to the video i'm here with my big boy luther this is my common boa bci or boa imperator bi whatever you want to call it um, and obviously this video wouldn't be a video without him so we're going to talk about why these guys make such great pets and we'll start off with as you can see uh luther here is a pretty large size snake uh, luther is about seven years old and he's about six about six six and a half foot um and he is pretty much done growing um, so unlike your berm or yeah, your berms and your retics, these guys get big, but they don't get massively large. Um, now I'm speaking from a male perspective. Uh, females usually do get bigger than males, so uh, that is something to keep in mind. But they still don't reach that 17, 18 like you will see out of most retics, um, Burmese pythons, and things of that nature. And obviously there are exceptions to every rule, so. Again, this is something to keep in mind. Not everything I say is gonna be exact, so make sure you do your research. I don't want anyone to think, well, you said it could be this. I'm, I'm very aware, but again, I'm talking from a general standpoint. Alrighty, so despite the, the size, uh, which again, in my opinion, isn't bad. Uh, Luther is my biggest snake at the moment until my berm gets big enough. Um, if you like really natural looking snakes, I mean, a snake with no morph, no extra genetics, just something that you can, if you were ever to be in the wild where these guys originate from um, in Central America, you will be able to actually see these guys. Um, and you know, that natural beauty, um, this is why they call it a common boa. Sorry, he just farted. <laughs> Anyways, um, they're pretty easy and they're pretty cheap. Now, what I mean by cheap is the actual animal. These guys go for as cheap as like 130 bucks. Um, I don't mean their whole setup. Um, that's again, something you are gonna wanna do your research on, but for the animal, they're fairly cheap. Most animals now usually range in like that three to 400, um, depending on what you're into or what you're getting. So. Again, that's another pro to having one of these guys. Luther, uh, for those of you that don't know or if you're new to joining my channel, I did not get as a baby. Luther was given to me at this size. Um, so I took him in and nursed him back to health and there was nothing crazy wrong with him. Um, he, he did have respiratory, which isn't great, but um, he overcame it pretty easy with some antibiotics. And now this is what we have here. So, so again, these guys are fairly cheap and they're pretty much everywhere. You can go to any local reptile store. Um, you even see them in pet stores, which I, I do not recommend, but it's, I threw that out there just to show you how common they are to see. Uh, a lot of the reptiles, depending again on what you're into, you won't see at most uh, pet stores. But these guys you can find just about anywhere. Um, Luther here is just your typical common, no hypo, no, no anything. So. He is again what you would see in if you were out in the wild this is what you would see um and you know to me that is that's just really pretty the pattern and um certain snakes i feel like you just you just can't beat the original i don't care how you mix it morph it or you know twist it certain snakes you know need to be left alone and that kind of sounds dumb i guess but everybody has their own opinion right Another reason why I love these guys, which I feel like any snake owner would love these guys, is their their feeding response. Um, boas in general have a great feeding response, um, but when we're talking common boas, I mean, Luther attacks it every time. Um, I haven't had Luther miss out on a meal uh, while he's been with me the last two and a half years ever. Um, dude eats very, very well. Um, I mean, as you can see, I mean, he's, he's a big boy, so. Um, that's a good thing, um, but he has not missed a meal. But boas in general have that great feeding response, um, but not totally scary to where it's gonna make you not enjoy them. There are some snakes out there where they're so food driven, you can't walk by the enclosure um, without them striking. And again, there's exceptions to every rule, but I'm, I'm speaking from my experience and from a general standpoint. 
boas usually are the way to go for me. Um, and they're very, very intelligent. Just that curiosity. Um, they love, love to explore. And believe it or not, even at this, uh, even at this guy, <clears throat> even at this size, these guys are still uh, semi-arboreal. So you'll definitely want to make sure you offer them that height so they are able to climb baby, juvenile, sub-adult, all the way up to this size. Just have to make sure it's something strong that these that can support these guys. Now, something else that I've actually kind of covered in a separate video before um, that I just want to touch on again, and probably every time I talk about a common boa or a red tail boa, I'm going to bring up either. Those are two separate snakes. Um, this is, again, this is why I keep calling a common boa, as you can see. The tail is kind of like a tan brown versus a true red tail, a BCC, boa constrictor constrictor. It's going to have that bright red tail, um, and they're going to look a lot different. Um, they usually, as babies, are kind of like a tan, whereas you can see this guy is brown. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are looking into snakes. Don't get duped. Someone selling you a red tail Colombian boa, and it just all it is is a common boa. Um, but once again, still beautiful snakes. One of my favorite snakes to keep. Um, I'm I'm really happy I got this guy. Uh, super friendly, super just chill. Wherever he is, back here somewhere, hanging out. Uh, but super friendly, super chill, and again, there's there's no complaints I have about this guy. Um, you get that big snake experience without getting overly dramatic about it, and that's what I really like about these guys. Obviously, I have a burn, but I don't mind. But if someone's watching my channel and they're thinking of either getting into big snakes or they want to step up to something a little bit bigger but not quite huge, I would say a boa is definitely the way to go. And if you are, you know, looking into morphs, um, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. They're just going to look a little different. I just, again, prefer to have just that common boa. I do have a motley boa, which is also a BCI. Um, we'll see if he gets this big. Um, Luther, being a male, this is, you know, big for males. Um, males usually average around six, six to eight. But most of them rarely see six. Um, but Luther is one of those big guys that just just ro ro rose to the occasion, I guess. So my biggest snake to date, but again, <clears throat> very beautiful snake. Super happy about having him. So I hope anybody who's out there looking into getting to uh, one of these guys, uh, hope this video helps you, or you know maybe eases your mind, or you know just I don't know sways you in some type of way. But again, do your research. Don't just take just this video as your sole Bible if you should get one. Uh, make sure you do proper research, check multiple sites, talk to a lot of people. Uh, my DMs are always open. Um, <clears throat> but again, I can't stress enough how great these guys are when it comes to keeping. Um, I love keeping Big Luther here. He can be a challenge sometimes, I will, see that, will say that, but I mean, that's almost any pet, so just keep that in mind. Um, I can sit here and talk about how great they are all day but you definitely want to just be prepared for it in case you don't end up with a placid animal um, there's always that exception to every rule so again not everything goes perfectly I've seen aggressive ball pythons and super friendly blood pythons so just keep that in mind with that being said I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it and having big Luther out here even though he's trying to tangle me up right now um, again, as I stated in the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn those post notifications on. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Also, follow me on Instagram at DWExotics, and as always, stay exotic.